Hello everyone, in this video I will talk about spatial filtering. Spatial filtering is the process of modifying an image by replacing the value of each pixel in this image by a function of values of the pixel and, and its neighbors. In spatial filtering, we perform some of the products operation between an image F and a filter kernel. This figure uh, shows how to apply spatial filtering using 3x3 three three kernel at any point x, y in the image. The response gx is the sum of products of the kernel coefficient by the image pixels underneath the kernel. Here we multiply first element of kernel by first uh, first element of part of image under the kernel and the second element of kernel by second element of part of the, of the image and so on this operation called convolution and we can write it by this expression here we assume that m equals 2a plus 1 and n equals 2b plus 1 here there is an important note kernels must be of odd size in both direction that means m and n must be odd integer numbers now let's talk about another thing in spatial filtering here we have three by three kernel and we want to convolve it with the following image if we apply filter to the first element of the image the first thing that we notice is that part of the kernel lies outside the image so the summation in this area is undefined we can solve this problem by padding the image with zeros in each side in the next video i will talk about uh, different types of padding but in this video we will use zero padding in general for kernel of size m by n we pad the image with m minus 1 over 2 rows of zeros at the, at the top and bottom and n minus 1 over 2 columns of zeros on the left and the right in our example we pad the image with one row of zeros uh, at the top and bottom and one columns at, at left and right finally get pad image with the size of m plus m minus 1 and n plus n minus 1. Now let's put everything in an example. We have this image and we want to convolve it with this kernel. Here 1 over 9 is normalizing constant whose value is 1 over uh, divided by the sum of values of the coefficient. Now let's multiply normalize the constant with the kernel and pad the image. We apply the filter to the first element of the image. We multiply kernel with part of, of image under the kernel and put the summation of this product in the corresponding pixel in the output image and repeat this procedure and so on. The most common in spatial filtering are smoothing filters, which are used to reduce sharpness in the images or with other techniques for image enhancement. We have two kernels for smoothing. First one is box kernel and the other is Gaussian. Here example of box kernel. This kernel is 3x3 three three box filter kernel. This figure shows result of applying box filter with different size. The other kernel is Gaussian, which has the following equation. This figure shows the difference between applying box filter and Gaussian filter. We notice that the result of applying Gaussian is smoother around the edges than the result of box filter. OpenCV provides us with built-in functions to apply smoothing filters, but as usual, we will build our function, our function. 
I will define the class special filtering. First member function is padding. We have to pad our image with n minus one over two at top and bottom, then n minus one over two to left and right. Now I have size of the pad image. The next step is to initialize bad image with zeros. Finally, copy original image to pad image. The next member function is define kernel. For box kernel, all elements is one over number of elements in the kernel. For Gaussian, we have to use Gaussian equation. Here I assume that k equals 1 and sigma equals 1. Finally, I will define convolve function. I will initialize output image. Here I have pad image. And inside the orange rectangle is the original image. This animation shows the convolutional result. So I have to move the kernel from this point to that point. It turns out that if we move the, or the orange rectangle, which has the same size of the original image, I need two for loops to pass over the size of original image. Finally, I will create object from our class and apply spatial filter to the image. Thank you for your attention.